What's up guys, it's Sim with Vengeance and I'm back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty and today we begin year number 6 as the number 7 team in the nation and today we're taking on an SEC opponent in Mississippi State and if you guys are excited for today's video make sure you guys drop a like and if you're new to the channel at all hit that subscribe button down below for more content like this and I know you guys said oh we should move Mississippi State out of the uh, the SEC, but I was like, ah, they feel like they're just too much of an SEC team to just get kicked out. I mean, we as soon as you know, like I said, we we have we have plans to start a new dynasty sometime, but um, just not right now, especially for how things are going in this dynasty. I kind of want to at least ride the Justin Kelly train just a little bit longer because I really like Justin Kelly, uh, but you know. I think who who doesn't like Justin Kelly? Let's be honest here. I mean, if you're if you're a UAB uh, Blazers fan at all, I mean, you would know how much Justin Kelly means to this program, this team, and this entire series. He has been the man. Same with Chris Jones, obviously. Remember if you guys remember him at all. Um, but Justin Kelly, the first Heisman winner in school history, and we got our first national championship. So we're coming off of a national championship run. But we're not even number one in the country, which is kind of disrespectful, because uh, I feel like this team has improved from last year. But you know what? You know what? It's okay. It's okay. Because you know what? We're going to try and go back-to-back. -back. I don't know how many teams have gone back-to-back -back in recent memory, besides maybe Alabama. But, uh, you know, for us to do it back-to-back -back would be pretty sweet. Um, we, don't, we just don't know if, uh, you know, what's going to happen throughout this entire season. Obviously, our defense is gotten a little bit weaker uh but not terribly weaker um we still have like we have we just lost a lot of experienced players that's about it uh we lost jared lewis to the draft he got he was first round he was a first round draft pick he was that good he that was jared lewis we're talking about um donald hills was a second round draft pick we may lose justin kelly to the nfl this at the end of the season i don't know but that would be something though i mean he to see him be as high profile as he is, it's not really all that surprising, honestly, because he's just he's just that good. Like, man, he's so talented. But you take a look at the top 25, and you see right here, LSU's number one, Notre Dame two, Oklahoma three, Nebraska four, Alabama five, Miami six, we are seven, Wisconsin eight, Ohio State nine, South Carolina ten, Florida State, Texas, USCA, uh, Georgia Tech, Boise State, Virginia Tech, Tennessee, UCLA, North Carolina, Rutgers, Georgia, Clemson, Arizona, Michigan, and Iowa round out the rest of the top 25. And we moved Notre Dame to the Big Ten because they do play a lot of Big Ten opponents like Michigan, Michigan State. Uh, I do think they play Purdue every now and then. Um, but I decided to move them to the Big Ten because they do play a lot of Big Ten opponents. So it only seemed fitting, right? Only seemed fitting. But you take a look at the SEC standings here where they have us projected – they have us projected to finish third, guys. Third. That's disrespectful. Third. After we just won a national championship. How disrespectful. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure out a way, guys. We're going to figure out a way to uh, make sure that we are ready for another national championship run. But you take a look at the Heisman uh, predictions so far. Justin Kelly on pace to win his second Heisman in a row. That's because Justin Kelly is the man. He is. He is the man. He's he's the man, the myth, the legend of this campus and in college football. He's just that good. But I hope you guys are ready for this amazing game against uh, a good team like Mississippi State. We are so ready for year number six. We're ready for to make ourselves another national championship run, and I will see you guys on the field. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. A nice, easy pace of warm-ups over. Better buckle those chin straps. SEC action about to start. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half.
we are here at Legion Field. The UAB Blazers start off their season against Mississippi State. And Mississippi State, we beat them pretty badly last year, if you guys do recall. So this game, well, I mean, both teams have changed, obviously, since previous years. But, I mean, we haven't changed a whole lot, at least offensively. We still have a lot of our offensive pieces, and we've only gotten better on offense. And my philosophy this year is... Well, I mean, we obviously want to keep Justin Kelly involved with the offense and make sure that he gets his Heisman. But, as you guys may have, may or may not have heard, I am a huge fan of running the football. And I know it obviously kind of doesn't sound like that by the way I pass the ball in this game. You know, but I'm a huge fan of running the ball. And we haven't been able to do that consistently throughout this whole dynasty, right? So my philosophy this year is to try and ground and pound up the gut, bounce it outside, and try and mix up the run game a lot more with read options and all that kind of good stuff like that. We have two good running backs, and we have a quarterback that can run too. Look at Justin Kelly taking off running. Gets himself a first down. Oh my god, he squeezes through and picks up 25 on that run. That's what I like to see from my boy Justin Kelly. Third and goal here from the five-yard line. Here is Kelly. Look at corner of the end zone. Caught Will Davis. Touchdown, UAB. It's now 7 nothing to start off the young season. Here comes Mississippi State and their quarterback, Stevenson, handing it off to Brandon Woods. And Brandon Woods gets it down past the 35, down to the 40-yard line, picking up 16 yards on that play. And they are doing – they got better on offense. You can tell. Uh, this team is obviously better than last year. They're better than 111. That's for shame. That's for damn sure. Uh, you see right here, they get shoved out of bounds after Thomas Pittman, pick, uh, Thomas Pittman picks up 11 yards. Second down and five here. I formation for Mississippi State. Handed it off to Brandon Woods. He's shoving down defenders. Bulldozing his way towards a first down, picking up seven yards. First and 10 here from the 35. They have their tight end in motion to the left. And Stevenson in the gun. Going to hand off on the draw to Woods. He finds a hole, and he's taking it down, exploding through it, down to the 20-yard line and a first down for uh, Mississippi State. Third and 12 from the 22-yard line. Here is Stevenson dropping back to pass. Has some time looking towards the end zone. It's almost intercepted by Carter in the corner of the end zone. So they're going to end up settling for a field goal right here from about 12, 39 yards away. And the kick is up. And it is good. So 7-3 UAB. And that one right there sets the tone a little bit for Mississippi State's offense. They did pretty good on that first drive. We were able to bend but not break and still maintain the lead. So that's always good for UAB. So looking over on Jay Henderson drops the ball right there. How did you drop that ball, man? You got to catch it. You put your hands on it. You got to catch it. First and 10 for Mississippi State. Strong eye formation. They got their wide receiver motioning to the left. And here is Stevenson. Going to try and hand the... Oh, dropping back to pass. I thought they were going to run. But they get this one off to Stevens. Stevens with room to run. Oh, my God. He's going to the 10 inside the 10-yard line. Down to the 8-yard line. 53-yard pickup in a first down for Mississippi State. First and goal. Very next play. Five minutes to go here. Stevenson dropping back. Looks corner of the end zone. Caught by Coley. Touchdown, Mississippi State. 10-7. Here comes UAB's offense once again on second and 10. Kelly, quick strike to Frank Clement. Outside down to midfield. Down for a 20-yard pickup. Very next play, or a few plays later on third and 10. Kelly dropping back to pass. Looking left side, right side. Caught by Brian Green for a pickup of 11 yards. And a first down. Now first and 10 from the... About the 34, 40 yard line, but we get this off to uh, Jay Henderson, 21 yard pickup and a first down, and Jay Henderson doing pretty good so far. He did have that one drop, but I mean I'm not gonna hold it against him. People drop the ball all the time, and this time he gets it in the end zone. So you know what? No, no harm. No, well, there was harm that we gave up a touchdown because of that drop, basically. But we, you know, we got it right back. So anyway. And second down and one here. Here's Stevenson dropping back. It's hit as he throws, but it's caught by Coley again. Down inside the uh, enemy territory to the 45. Now later on, third and five at the 40. Savoy trying to pump up his crowd and try and make them uh, make a mistake. But it looks like they're well under control. And they're, they're keeping their composure on, on the field right there. As they get another first down. Second down and three here from the 20-yard line. They're going to try and get it to at least a... Looks like about the 16 and a half. 
Stevenson over right side. Caught by Stevens again. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Stevenson, a 10 of 11 for 150 and two touchdowns. Just killing it so far. So third down and 10 for Kelly in the offense. Dropping back. Hester going up, and he cannot hang on to the ball. As Kelly has been struggling to complete passes. Yeah, he, every time he completes it, it seems to go for a pretty big game, but he hasn't really had much of an opportunity. Stevenson dropping back again. Gets another completion to Coley, and Coley goes out of bounds for another first down. And, man, we are just getting killed all over the place right here. They're completing passes left and right. We aren't able to complete stu uh, stuff on our own, and that's why we're behind. So Stevenson again looking right side, and it's going to be intercepted by Robert Roth. Robert Roth has been a huge for this team, and he proves it once again why he's one of the best defensive backs in the country with that interception. So third down and one. We're going to go straight up the middle with Will Davis, our second string tight end. We're going to put him at fullback this year, too. He's our four, first string fullback, second string tight end. And it pays off with a first down. So third down and 10 here for UAB. Kelly in the gun. Drop back to pass. Quick strike to Jay Henderson. I want to say Donald Hills, but he's gone now, guys. He's gone. He's gone. But another first down. Four catches, 81 yards for Jay Henderson. Here's Kelly dropping back again. Has some time over the middle. Jay Henderson again. First down. He's past 100 yards receiving on the day. And you know what? He may have had some drops, but you know what? He's still doing his thing. He's not as good as Donald Hills, but, I mean, he's the best we got. So, Kelly scrambling around. Look into the end zone. It's intercepted by Mitchell. And, oh, my goodness, bad pass by Kelly. And that ends up not costing us a touchdown right there, a possible touchdown. So, third down and seven. Stevenson, again, dropping back. Has some time scrambling. Oh, and he fumbles the football. Picked up by Parsons. And Parsons trying to rumble, bumble, and stumble on his way. But he does get taken down. But nice fumble recovery. Nice heads up play to get that one. First and 10 for Kelly in the offense. He's back on the field looking over the middle to James Hester Jr. for a pickup of 26 and a first down. First catch of the afternoon for James Hester. Third and two here for UAB. Kelly dropping back. Has some time over. Oh, Hester tried to get too fancy with it. Let's face it. Tried to get a little too fancy. But we did tie the game up at 17 going into halftime. So, mm, it's okay, I guess. I was hoping for a touchdown, but we ended up not getting it. But later on, third and two. Woods trying to get the first down and not going to get it as Lundy and A.J. Patrick were right there to make the stop. Nice play by the defense to get that one up and going. So, this time... Uh, read option play for Justin Kelly. He's got room down the sideline, down to the 30, down to the 25, and a huge first down. 33-yard pickup, his longest run of his career, guys. Longest run of Justin Kelly's career. Aaron Hicks on the handoff here, trying to take this one right side, getting that first down. And Aaron Hicks, he's gotten a little bit of a slow start, but we can hope he pick it up here in the second half. We hope he can pick it up. He's got, to, he's got to be good this year. He's got a 96 overall. He's got to be good. So third down and five. Kelly, end zone, incomplete. Hester drops another one. And oh my goodness, people. Three drops by Hester, at least one by Henderson. My Lord, we, we should be dominating, but we're just making mistakes after mistakes. It's just not good. We cannot let these guys come back in this game. Roth, though, seems to have better hands than some of these wide receivers. I'm just saying. He's got some hands. Look at that. Interception. Second one of the day for him. Third turnover of the day for Mississippi State. And we have the ball in good field position. Kelly looking over the middle. Frank Clement first down for UAB. Six-yard pickup, but enough to get the chains moving. So uh, third down and two from about the 14-yard line. So hand it off to Aaron Hicks. First down UAB. Nine-yard pickup. You know, the run game's starting to pick up now. That's good. So now first and goal. Starting at the fourth quarter. Only a three-point lead. Kelly scrambling to his right. Trying to find some space. And he finds Pater. Touchdown, UAB. It's now 27-17. to 17. We have a 10-point lead here going into the fourth. I feel pretty comfortable with it. So now second down and five here. 5.30 to go. Stevenson over the middle. Caught up. He got the first. Okay. That they gave him the spot. They gave him the spot. No worries. As long as we don't blow it here. So uh, second down and two here. Stevenson dropping back again. Right side. Stevens has been a pain in my side all game long. But he does get nailed out of bounds. 
but not after picking up a first down. Six catches, 113 yards for the guy. He's been killing it. Third down and seven. Two running backs in the play. They're running a screen pass, but it's incomplete. As good job by Andy Payne to get in the way of that pass. And uh, they're going to go for it on fourth down, which is interesting. They're, I thought they were possibly going to go for a field goal because then it would be a touchdown game with four minutes to go. But I can see why they're going for it. But at the same time, I felt like they could have tried a field goal. Uh, but we'll see how they do on this play. Fourth and seven. Stevenson dropping back to pass. Has some time. Throws it away into coverage to John Banks. And that's going to be a turnover. Not only a turnover on downs, but an interception on top of it. So, Kelly again looking over middle. Jay Henderson. He's been a pain in their side all game long. As Jay Henderson has seven catches for 136 yards. So, first and ten here for the UAB Blazers. We're going to run the ball this time with Aaron Hicks bouncing it to the left side. Has some room to run. First down, 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. 13 carries, only 45 yards, but you know what? It's the slow start that he had. He's really picked it up here in the second half. We'll see how he does uh, throughout the rest of the game. You see Dominic Thomas not getting enough there for that first down. And we're going to go for the very long field goal attempt from Green. We know he has a boot, but is it good enough? Yes, it is. Squeezes it on by. It's now 30-17. I feel pretty good, but here comes Mississippi State right back. Caught by Weber. Touchdown, Mississippi State. And with 136 left in the game, they're going to go for the onside kick. And thank God. <laughs> oh, man. We recovered the onside kick, but you know what? I want a little bit of stat boosting right here because I feel like Kelly just hasn't had a good enough game. So, I, it sounds kind of selfish of me, but I really want Kelly to win another Heisman. And today's performance was so far un-Heisman-like. We get another touchdown right there from Brian Green, and it's now 36-24. We did miss the two-point conversion because we wanted to make it a two-touchdown game. But you know what? I'm not even worried. Third and 19 here. Stevenson dropping back, and he almost gets sacked, but he does get the catch by Weber out of bounds. But later on, third and 10. Can Mississippi State stay in this game? Well, we'll find out here. Stevenson, again, has no more time as he took too much of it and is taken down by for the sack by Andy Payne. And he is such a good uh, pursuit, pursuer of the quarterbacks. Man, he, he's had a pretty illustrious career here at UAB. So fourth and 19. Stevenson, once again, uh, complete, but obviously not enough for a first. He had... Six on fourth and 19. I don't know, man. That seems a little bit like, you know, you just didn't want to try. But look at that. James Hester Jr. Deep bomb touchdown UAB. Hester's, I think that's his third touchdown in the game. He's caught quite a, or he had a, he at least had a touchdown. But, uh, nope, I think that was, one was, one was by Will Davis. One was by Henderson. Okay, yeah, then he only had one touchdown. But he had a good game nonetheless. So, anyway, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed, hey, drop a like. And if you're new to this channel at all, hit that subscribe button. We start off year six the right way with a 44-24 win over Mississippi State. And I know it wasn't pretty in the first half, but, you know, you know, I always had that philosophy that, you know, it's better to lose in the first half and keep it closed. And then, you know, at least we won it in the second half because that's when the game really starts to matter. Um, but we've always been a second half team. And, you know, that's just my philosophy. So... Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video again. And until then, my name is Sim with Vengeance. You guys have been amazing as always. And I am out. Peace.